hello everyone! It's Christy Clunz with E320 Treasures and tonight we're going to be talking about Dixie Bells, the Sting Lax. I know that some of you are lax hee haw, some of you are glaze hee haw. Oh, this thing is this. Is that, is that bothering you guys? I was lightening my teeth earlier. I must have forgotten to take it out. It's kind of hurting, so I guess I could just go ahead and take it out. All right, whew, that's so much better. And tonight we're gonna be going over Best Dang Wax applications over silk and chalk paint before and after clear coating. I have some sample boards here and I thought we would kind of go over the different uses of, of wax. I do a lot of my furniture clear coating and then putting on waxes. This board has, this is silk. This is the silk paint. We have deep sea over here and sand castle over here. There's two coats of each. You can see just how smooth it is. On each side, you can see where the clear coat, I use satin, Dixie Bell satin clear coat on this side. This is just silk. This is just silk. And then you can see also here where I've added the satin clear coat on here. For each one of my waxes, I have a brush that I keep for each one of my waxes. I don't wash it out. It, the, the, Wax, we say wax is a, a clear coat. You can put it on there and it'll harden, yes, but you have to buff it on your furniture 15 minutes after you apply it. So if you don't buff it, it just, it's almost like a conditioner on your brushes. These are the cheapy little premium chip. So we have our best ink wax in white. I'm just dipping my chip brush in. You don't need a whole, whole lot. We're just gonna go and apply all over. Get in those little creases right here. The creases are the best for wax because it settles in there and just gives it such a great dimensional look. We have a full application of white wax. I always use a lint-free cloth. That way when you're wiping your piece, you're not leaving hairs and dust particles and everything else. And you see my hair is up tonight. I shed like a cat over my furniture, so I should basically, it either has to go up or literally a hairnet. Remember, this side is just silk. This side has the clear coat on it. There is almost no difference. Can you see it in the creases there? And we're gonna put some brown wax on the sun-kissed side. So here's our brown wax. You can see I'm a heavy user of my brown wax. So coming back again in those grooves. Again, this is sun-kissed silk, no clear coat. You do not have to clear coat silk. Here. I went ahead and put a satin on it just to give you a look at the different finishes that you can have with silk. I like silk because like I've, I've said plenty of times before, I am a lazy painter and the fact that you don't have to top coat that, that's just one less step. It has a built-in stain blocker and then a top coat. You can see it a little bit better with the brown wax on the light color. See how it wipes almost completely off of the satin, but then it stays really nicely here on the sun-kissed part. So that's Besting Wax over Silk. Then we have our chalk paint. Paint blue over here. And again, I've satin clear coated this side. This is pure chalk paint. Over here is aubergine. This is only chalk paint, no clear coat. This I've put the satin clear coat over. Grunge gray is a really nice medium shade gray. Got my gray brush. See how that chalk paint is soaking in that wax? Got my white brush, dipping in my white wax. And the longer you let it sit, the more it's gonna soak into this chalk paint and be more, like if you're looking for a super grungy look, just leave it sitting on there for a second and it will soak in to the chalk paint. If you have a clear coat on it, you can leave it sitting on there for a minute and it'll, 
it'll do the same, but it's still going to wipe that from that chalk, from that uh, clear coated chalk paint. See how it's wiping back? See, I missed a spot right here with the clear coat. And that chalk paint is just soaking in the wax. So you see the difference there. Here, this is a metal tray. This is slick stick. If you have something that's slippery like this, you're gonna wanna slick stick it so that your paint adheres and has the best chance to stay. Look at all the, the little embellishments and things it has. So I thought I could do some black wax in that. So here's our black wax. I have my black little chip brush. Thanks for joining me guys. Have a good night.